right, so we have some very cool stuff for y'all that I have not shown y'all. I got this book right here. It's called Gone with the Wind. Not sure if anybody knows what this, what this book is. But this book is literally dated 1936. 84 years old. The, the person that owned this was 96 years old. Betty Jean Byron. And literally as soon as we opened, as soon as we opened this book, it said right there. I'm sorry. It says, yes, it's me. And now it's saying whistle. whistle. That's very um, not okay. But um, either way, that was crazy. Then we also have this right here, which is a, a desert camo uh, Iraq, right? Or Afghanistan? Or, no, Fallujah, yes. I'm sorry. A Marine veteran that owned this and killed over literally 30 people in this jacket. And I have the pleasure of owning it. I know y'all can't really see it right now, but I'll definitely give y'all a better view here in a little bit. But I also asked if there's anybody connected to this uh, jacket, and it said I was killed. Because I asked after that if there's anybody connected to the person, like any of the people that this dude knew, because it said Benedict. And I was like, oh, well, maybe this guy didn't, knew someone named Benedict. And the dude has a story with his shirt, too. Yes, he has a whole serious story with it. But uh, either way, I just had to definitely come out here and record this, because... Uh, it just said brown eyes, and obviously uh, Riley has a brown eyes. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all see this here, but I'm gonna stop the recording and show y'all the show y'all the jacket real quick. But here's the jacket, and uh, it's an absolute honor to have this because the guy that wore this literally this jacket saved his life. And there's a whole story behind it. And I'm not gonna tell y'all right now, but obviously nameplate. Marine plate was taken off so he could keep it, but just wanted to show you all the the jackets very beautiful I never had one uh, Desert camo like this but I have one woodland camo But um It actually does fit me somewhat so I mean it fits me I can't button it up because my dad bud you know But uh, I'll let y'all know more on that But the, It might have been one of his his uh, platoon people Cause he had a bunch of people die. He was like, like literally, him and two other people made it out of there. Right, and I just got done telling them inside. There's a whole story on that jacket that we're gonna tell, eventually, but not right now. But it literally just said camp, and uh, we're all <laughs> we're all good. You're all good. No, that's, dude, that's no way. No, 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 no. You, you, you didn't hear the story. I told you it Ex burnt into my brain. I exactly, know. I know. And you just spoke on it. You just literally said it was two other people that died once about right or two. No, it was like two. Uh, uh, it was an eight man like little squad thing that they was going through the little buildings and stuff. And Enclosure, yeah. Well, I, I didn't get no names or anything. He never said anything like that. But he said like, you know, out of all of them, like two or three made it. Right, and it literally just said we're all good. So the people that are dead are possibly talking about right now. Yeah, this is insane for sure. This is awesome. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it live right now. Um, is there anything that anybody wants to say to the people that are watching? If you're able to comprehend that we're asking, if you're we're talking about you then you understand i'm guessing that these are electronical devices that are recording right now so anybody that you don't see what gets me is like you don't have brown eyes i do and i talked to this dude today and you know hardcore marine i mean yeah and it's awesome and, and like all this is pertaining to like pieces of the story that i've heard right uh what about um can somebody maybe let's see I'm just gonna just flip around on page and just try something down that quick. So what about you see this? Let's see the number. Y'all can somewhat see it. It is. Well, you can't really see it on the camera, but it's. What is it? It's, uh, I'm just gonna say it's in the 50s. But uh, what? Laugh. Okay, cause uh, <laughs> it's stupid what I'm about to ask y'all. Oh no, my god. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all. I almost dropped my phone. Yeah. Out. Dude, no, no way. Just because I'm literally about to ask them what page I'm on right now, and I just said it was stupid for me to ask. And you so. Know. Right, so what page? What page do y'all think? I mean, y'all can possibly see it. Uh, it's close, and it's close, but not 69. No, it actually does have a six in it. So, uh, but they're not gonna. I doubt very sure. So they're gonna give a number, but uh, it'd be crazy if they did. But um, 
is there anything crazy that y'all want to talk about maybe that y'all want to bring to life that you know stories or experiences right that when y'all passed away if there's something that was missing you know before you died if there's something you wanted to say to somebody or just put out there in the universe Or maybe if Miss Betty, are you still here with us? Do you appreciate us uh, admiring and actually enjoying the fact that I have the pleasure of having your book and I wish I could have met you, but maybe one day I will, but... I was stationed here. No way, bro. He literally, before I turn the camera on, before I turn the camera on, you literally just was talking about Camp Beauregard and... And Camp Livingston. Right. And, oh my Camp gosh. Like, like, the main thing I've always thought about when he was telling me that story, dude. Literally said, I was stationed here. I know y'all heard it on record. I'm sorry that my camera sucks at uh, focusing, but that... <laughs> that was a light answer, but still an answer. Uh, look, so. I don't know what they're saying. Like, the feel that I touched the logo when I touched the shirt. Right, and when I put it on earlier, I, and I, I was talking about it, yeah. I grabbed it, and I was just like, whoa, this is heavy. Heavy, heavy. Yeah, it does have a little bit of weight to it, for no, sure. I'm, I'm talking about, like. No, I'm talking about, like, emotional and, like, physical oh, yeah. weight. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yes, and I asked him if this was for sale, and he said no. Um, that's what he had in service. Okay. And, like, he told me the story behind it, and I'm like, look, man, all I got is 30 bucks, man. I'll give that to you if you willing really to just part with it, because it's not for me. I mean, it's for my little cousin. Right, and I get the pleasure of, uh, I get the pleasure of having it, and that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud and honored to be able to have that. And I appreciate y'all making the ultimate sacrifice for this country. Um, being absolute heroes, that's for sure, and I thank you also for contacting us and actually talking to us right now, and, but it just said dancing. Um, well, uh, I definitely felt like dancing a little bit, but because uh, uh, that was pretty, pretty spot on. I'm glad to be able to get this right now, even though my camera's literally about to die, hey, so. Um, my mind's blown, like, I'm not seeing this anywhere for that. Yeah, and my mic's not, my actual mic's not even plugged in right now. Oh, Lord. But the mic on my camera's plugged in, oh, uh, obviously. Oh, uh, well, I know, but I'm saying, oh, uh, yeah. Low. So basically, there's been a little bit of weird stuff going on. Um, there was literally just said there's no peace, and of course, uh, me and my uh, significant other, we argue. Cry. Cry, yeah, it makes me want to cry for sure. It's, it's mass depression right here. But um, so, uh, I mean you don't you don't have to, but I, mean, I appreciate it. you know being a good uh, light holder. Um, and, yeah, I don't but, see me at all. <laughs> uh, light holder. Yeah, that's it, yeah. But um, nah. Basically, I want to tell y'all the story about the uh, the jacket real quick. Basically, to make it simple, the guy was surrounded in Fallujah by Taliban, and he was you know mag dumping, of course, suppressing fire, but uh, he said that was a time in his life where he literally got scared and thought he was going to die. And he took that shirt off and turned it inside out so the pattern wasn't shown. So when the A1 warthog come over, apparently it didn't see the pattern. And so it knew that it was him right there and was like, all right, we're not going to shoot right there. So it shot all around him and missed him and he survived. And that's literally the story, basically, other than him killing... 30 people, and he said how uh, he literally uh, stabbed a guy. Two. Two guys. He stabbed one through the ear when he looked through the window of the little hut, and then uh, the other guy he packed when he was coming through the door because he was on the side waiting for him to come in because he still yeah. run by the window. Yeah, and then just stabbed him right in the face, right? So that's um, definitely an absolute honor to have that again. And uh, But I'm guessing I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And because there's really nothing else that absolutely interesting happening anymore. Shush. Okay, yeah, well. Oh, it's it's, it's, it's telling you. Yeah, no, it's it's, that's what I'm saying. It's telling us to go ahead and shush and end the video, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, 
I appreciate y'all and stay tuned for the next paranormal adventure, which will be very soon. And we actually got a lot planned. It's just uh, we did this real quick, and I'm glad we did it because uh, we definitely succeeded. So, but ticket stand paranormal. Good yeah. good night, or my spooky sphinxes, man. Yes, sir. Good night, and I appreciate y'all.